Hi, this is Miss Anderson. Today we're going to go ahead and make a rocket, and this is a very simple project. In fact, we don't even need the ruler on our work plane to make this rocket. Let's go ahead and start with a cylinder, and I'm going to go ahead and change my color. I think I'll make the main body of the rocket red. And what I'm going to do is go to the center square here. I'm going to click and hold, and I'm going to increase it, and that's going to end up being the main body of the rocket. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate it, control D. I'm going to use my right arrow to slide it off. And I want to make a different collar for the top part of the rocket. It's just a little decorative piece. So I'm going to click on that little white square. I'm going to take it down. And now I'm going to change that to a different color. I think I'll go ahead and do a bluish color. All right, now what I want to do is put this piece on here and I want to make sure that they absolutely fit together. One way of doing that is to drag out the work plane, follow it up, drop it on top. Now when I do that, this other little accent piece is underneath. What I'm going to do is click it and I'm going to hit D and that will put it down on the new floor of the work plane. Now when I slide it over with my arrow, I know that they are absolutely going to fit together. All right, I'm going to go ahead and select both parts. I'm going to align this in two ways, length, and if it doesn't respond, click it again. Sometimes it still won't respond. Well, then go over here, let's try length. That will respond. All right, now all of these are grayed out because everything is matching. All right, I'm going to click off, just take a look at that. That looks nice. All right, so now when all of the parts are chosen, I'm going to go ahead and group that. When I do, it changes color. I'm going to click here and go back and click multi-color. Now, if you'd like to return your work plane back to normal, drag one out and drop it on the blue line. And if it doesn't respond, go back, drag it out again. All right, there we go. Next thing I want to do is put a cone up here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and come on down here. This time, I'm going to show you a different way of bringing these two parts together. Instead of putting the work plane on after I've sized the cone, I'm going to start out by putting the work plane on the top part of this rocket. Now I'm going to drag out the cone and it already is on the bottom of the work plane, which is nice. I think I'm going to change that color. How about I make it a nice bright yellow? And I'm going to go ahead and grab this white square. I'm going to click hold. I'm going to grow that rocket a little bit. Give it a nice cone on top. I'm just going to use my left arrow key to kind of slide it over in my up arrow. doesn't have to be perfect because that's what the alignment tool is for. All right, now I'm going to select all parts. I'm going to go up here to alignment. And we're going to align in two ways, length and width. All right, so now I have the main part of my rocket done. I'm going to go ahead and select all parts. And I'm going to group it. All right, now I'm going to drop another work plane back down on, onto that blue line. If it doesn't respond, I'm going to drag it out again. All right, that's what we have. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and slide this over to the middle. I'm going to enlarge this a little bit. I'm using the wheel on my mouse to do that. We're going to work on making some little bottom fins for that rocket to support it. The way I'm going to do that is by coming up here and getting a cylinder. I'm going to take it down in height, okay, and I'm seeing the numbers as I'm dragging it down. You know, somewhere close to three or four should be fine. Even two is fine. I think I'll take it down to two. All right, now what I want to do is grab this black square, and I'm going to distort it. So I'm making it longer. This will be its height, and I think I'll make it just a little bit wider. Now I'm going to drag out a box tool because I want to cut a little more than half of this off. I'm going to drag this black square all the way down, and now I'm going to use my right arrow to kind of scoot that. Now that is a little bit more than halfway. I think I'm going to take a little more off, and it's your personal preference, but that's what I would like to do. I think it looks good this way. I'm now going to group them, and that will now remove half. I'm going to take out a cylinder. And just to make it easier for you to see what I'm doing, I'm going to take the height down a little bit. I'm just going to kind of squash it down. Okay, I'm going to scoot this over with my right arrow. What I want to do is create a shape on this, and I want to cut this out. I'm going to pull this down. Maybe I'll pull this back a little bit. 
I might pull this up some more. You know, it's your personal preference, okay? Uh, I'm gonna look at that. I think that that would look pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and group both parts. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and use my left arrow and I'm gonna bring it close to the rocket just to where it's starting to go into the base of that rocket. I'm now going to duplicate it. I'm gonna hit Control D. And now I wanna go ahead and spin that part off. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to type 180. So 180 degrees will flip that duplicate over. I'm now going to use my left arrow to slide it off. And I can slide it all the way over, but I wanna bring it back and I wanna have it just like the other one on the right side. I want it to just cut into the body of the rocket. All right, these are both still in alignment because I was very careful not to move them. And so I'm going to hold my shift key. I'm going to select the other one. You can see they're nice, still lined up, and I'm going to group them. Now that they're grouped, I'm going to turn to the side and I'm going to raise them. I'm gonna click this arrow and I'm going to type in here 90 degrees. I'll hit enter. Now I'm going to turn this around and very carefully I'm going to take my up arrow and I'm going to bring it back. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect because I've got that alignment tool. All right, I'm going to turn to the side. I'm going to grab all parts, go up here to alignment, and I just need to put this into the middle here. And just in case I was off on any of my measurements, somewhere here in the middle. Okay, now let's take a look at that and see. Yep, that looks great. All right, the final step, while these are still selected, uh, go ahead and hit Control D. There's a duplicate on there, and we're going to bring that off of there. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to type 90 degrees, and I'm gonna hit Enter. Click off, and then you'll see that your rocket is now completed. So now we'll go ahead and select all parts. You can also do that with Control A. We're gonna group it. I'm going to hit the D key to put it on the bottom of the work plane. That will put it down on the work plane. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and click here, and this will show me all of the rocket. It will fit into my view so I can see it. Okay, so that's all there is to it to make a rocket. I hope you found that helpful, and good luck to you.